welcome back to cooking with claudia today i'm showing you how to make creamy delicious roasted garlic mashed potatoes that is so good and perfect for thanksgiving or christmas please make sure you like and share this video if you enjoy it let's get started all right, my friends, we're going to start this recipe with three pounds of russet potatoes. You can use gold potatoes if you want, but make sure you stay away from red potatoes because they don't make very good mashed potatoes. I'm going to start peeling all my potatoes. Once we're done peeling the potatoes, we're going to quarter them. One trick to making good mashed potatoes is do not cut your potatoes into little pieces. You want to keep the sizes as large as possible, that way they don't get soggy as they cook. Smaller sizes will absorb too much water and you'll end up with gummy mashed potatoes. Once we're done cutting the potatoes, we're going to place them into a large pan. Go ahead and fill the pan with water. Another trick to making good mashed potatoes is to start cooking the potatoes in cold water. If you drop them into boiling water, they'll cook unevenly, which can affect the texture of your mashed potatoes. I seasoned with about one teaspoon of salt. I'm going to place the lid on, then transfer the pan onto my stove. I'm going to turn my heat to medium. As soon as the potatoes come to a simmer, I'm going to add four bay leaves for extra flavor. The cooking time should be between 20 to 25 minutes. Be careful not to overcook them. While the potatoes are cooking, we're going to start roasting some garlic. Adding roasted garlic to mashed potatoes seriously makes the flavor so much better. We're using two garlic heads. Go ahead and remove all the cloves. Then peel them until you get to the very last membrane on each clove. Go ahead and pick up all your peeled garlic, then transfer them onto a baking sheet. Next, add one teaspoon of olive oil, toss and space them out. Then you're going to roast them in a 350 Fahrenheit oven for 20 to 25 minutes. Once they're done roasting, they're going to smell so good. Start peeling them out of their last shells. It should be very easy. Use a fork to mash them into a smooth paste. This roasted garlic is going to add a nutty, buttery, creamy flavor to the mashed potatoes. It's going to be so good for Thanksgiving. All right, by this time, your potatoes should be done cooking. Make sure you test a couple of them with a fork. They should be soft and tender, not overcooked or undercooked. All right, I went ahead and drained the potatoes off camera. I have them in a strainer. You want the potatoes to be extremely drained and dried, so keep them in the strainer. Place it onto the hot pot you cook the potatoes in and let the heat from the pot completely dry out any excess water. If there is too much water in your potatoes, it will affect the texture of your mashed potatoes. I went ahead and discarded the bay leaves. I have the potatoes in my large mixing bowl. I am using my potato masher to mash them completely. Once the potatoes are mashed up, we're going to add two sticks of butter. Make sure the butter is softened at room temperature. If you use cold butter, it will affect the texture of your mashed potatoes. We're also adding our flavor-packed roasted garlic. Go ahead and mash the butter and garlic in with the potatoes until everything is very well incorporated. Next, we're adding one cup of whole milk. Make sure the milk is very hot. If you use cold milk, it will affect the texture of the mashed potatoes. Make sure you salt very well, okay? Otherwise, the mashed potatoes will be bland and boring. Also, season with some black pepper, then mix everything together. Last, we're going to mash this up some more. And that's about it, guys. We are done. Super easy and very delicious. To garnish this for the Thanksgiving table, you can add a slice of butter, drizzle with some melted butter, add some freshly cracked black pepper and some chives. These mashed potatoes are so delicious, perfect for Thanksgiving. The roasted garlic takes the flavor to a whole nother level. If you guys would like to make this, check the description box. I have all the ingredients and measurements there.